Now, both Abby and Libby are students at the Delphi Community Middle School. Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker is at that school tonight with what they are doing to help comfort their fellow students. Well, John, the school community here is taking this very hard. These two girls are eighth graders here at the middle school, and they are well loved. Counselors were here today for students, and they will be here the rest of the week, even though school officials say they can't confirm anything yet. The superintendent did meet with staff, though, this afternoon after word started to come out on social media with the news no one wanted to hear. Staff learned it was a good possibility the two bodies found belonged to the two missing girls. Investigators have said they suspect foul play in the deaths of those two people still not identified. The focus now of the school district, keeping other students safe. Our parents are going to have to go to work tomorrow, and I don't think our parents want to leave their children home by themselves in this situation. So we will take every uh, necessary precaution to make sure that they're safe to and from school and at school while they're here. And the superintendent is stressing that all schools in the district will be on a soft lockdown. That means all doors to all schools here in the district will be locked and they will be monitoring who comes in and out. That is something they say they do anyway. It's just that now with this investigation ongoing, they feel compelled to monitor even more closely. John. All right, thank you. Emily Longnecker reporting tonight.